Hello everybody, hope you guys are doing good. doing good, I'm doing great. So, I'm actually excited today. I'm getting a brand new microphone. Show you guys my old one. The Blue Snowball. This is what I've been using. Still works good, but I'm going to keep it just in case. Like, if the other one breaks down after a long while of use and it gets old. Then I'll have this as a backup, a spare backup. But I'm going to be getting my brand new mic today. It has like a little mute button and a little knob where you could lower the sound or raise the sound. So hopefully that will work a bit better for my let's plays and my live streams. I'm going to be using it a lot. Which reminds me I need, really need to clean my desk later on at a certain time. So that way I can make room for it. And then how it is like when you have your desk and it's just so cluttered with stuff. There's like legit no room for some things. I'm gonna have to clean the desk off and take off the stuff that I don't really use. But anyways, I'm down the mic. I'll be showing you guys what the brand new mic looks like once it gets here and once I get it. It's like a really, really nice looking mic. I think it's like a razor. Razor brand? Razor Saren X. I got one of those mites. So it's really exciting. And yeah, that's pretty much it of the mic. Oh, and I know it's been a while since I last vlogged, but I wanted to vlog last week and the last few days, but I wasn't really feeling well. But I'm feeling better now, which is good. So I'm back in action with recording videos and stuff like that. It feels kind of nice to get stuff done. It keeps me busy and keep me productive. So it's a really, really good thing. I got my Yakuza 5 video recorded. I had to do it for the second time because the Elgato software messed it up. So on the second time, and actually didn't mess up this time, which is a really good thing. I don't really like it when it messes up the video like that. Because it makes you end up having to redo it again. Hi, lady. Resting? Yeah, he's in a comfortable spot on the bed, <laughs> like always. I decided to watch a little bit of Mr. Bean on YouTube for a little bit. My my let's play video is actually almost done. <laughs> I figured why not watch something hilarious on YouTube. Took done. <laughs> it's always with this blue car. I've noticed every time Mr. Bean has a run-in with the blue car, he always ends up making the blue car either go to the side or make something happen with the blue car. I don't, I don't know what he has against that blue, blue car person. Because I've noticed every single time he runs into that blue car, something happens. It's just that Pacific car in the show and I don't even know why if anyone else knows why feel free to let me know I still don't it's like hilarious because he did that every time but is there a reason why he does that with the blue car so many questions about that that's left unanswered for now. I know it's a little bit late in the day to finish the rest of the vlog, but I'm really excited right now because my new microphone came. It's on um, muted right now. Even though I'm not using it, I still have it muted. But when you go like this and unmute, and then you can mute it. This is just for the volume. I know you guys probably can't see it too good, but the logo is right in the back. I have to show you guys the box. The nifty box that came in. 
at the Razor Saren X. I know I'm probably butchering the name, but really nice watch. In the back it says pick a pattern and filters out unwanted noises, which I find really useful. And it has shock resistant that dampens the vibration. They, the, if you like hit and tent the table by accident, it'll reduce it or lower it by a lot. And it's compact, which I like about it. And I'm actually rendering a video right now for tomorrow for my my Let's Play channel. It's like really, really good microphone. I like it. I'm still going to keep my old one, my own mic. That way it's actually use it in case if anything happens on this one, but I know nothing will. There was like a little book, book in there. Yeah, it came in like a foam thing. It came with the instructions and how to assemble it. I automatically knew how I did it without even looking at this. But at least it came with the instruction though. And the next time I stream, I don't know, I think I'm going to be streaming on Friday. i uh, test it out on Friday when I, when I go live on Twitch. So if you guys want to check it out, LokiFan20 on Twitch. So I'm going to be using this. Oh, it says that it works with open broadcasters. OBS. So if you guys want a microphone like this, this is what it is. The Siren X from Razer. You can find it at pretty much any store that sells stuff like this, like Walmart, Target, no matter where you can find it at. And if you want to find it for like a, a decent price under $99, I got this on Amazon for about like 59 it was on sale. Usually it's like $70, $70 but it, they reduced the price to 59 I think. Somewhere around there. Not bad. Not that bad of a price though. So. It worked really, really good for the price. <laughs> so if you guys are looking for a decent mic, I would suggest this one. But if you are more of a, like a person who rather have like something like blue brand microphone to look into that too now just do your research you don't have to have this as that microphone like it worked for me and I actually like this microphone but it may not be for everybody so I would suggest just look around see what you can find if you like some other microphone better than this one just by the review, you could get the other microphone, or if you like this one, you could get this one. There's like so many to choose from. I had like the Blue Snowball microphone. You could get that. It still works good too, for like forty dollars or something in the forty dollar range. And this one's in the fifty dollar range. Usually it's in the seventy dollar range, but on sale on Amazon. And then the good thing is it's black and it matches my keyboard and my mouse. So that's a good thing. It also comes in white. I think white and pink. <laughs> so you guys can choose like whatever colors. But if you'd rather have just a black one, you could just get that. But it does work for the price. So, so I'm actually quite happy with it though. Cause my with my old mic I had, it worked good, really decent, but it would pick up like extra background noise, like the air conditioning. It would pick up that noise. But with this, I've noticed it didn't that much at all. It canceled out the the air noise from the AC, which I like. So it's all good. All right, I just wanted to show you how much room I have. 
they can easily place up there. I may have to like move this a little bit, but it doesn't take up space or anything, which is a plus. And since it's black, it matches my keyboard and my mouse, which is a good thing. And it matches this too. So, since all my other stuff is black, and it matches the white because black and white go well together as well. Besides red and black, which is a good thing. So, I could easily just have it plugged in and move the plug in the back. And there you go. I almost forgot. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. But down here, there's a little thing here somewhere. Like where my thumb is. Like right there. You could plug in a headset. For example, you're streaming on the computer. And you don't want, like, the game sound or the computer sound or anything. Just plug it in underneath here. And then when you're using the microphone, you could actually <laughs> have headphones on while you're talking with the microphone. <laughs> That's where, like, really convenient right there. So yeah, I'm actually quite happy with this microphone, as you can tell. So, I'm probably going to be testing it out on stream soon. I don't know what day. Probably. Either Friday, if not tomorrow, I'll test it out on stream on Friday. So that way I can see how it works with streaming. So far, I already recorded a video for tomorrow. And I listened in on how it sounds it sounds great so once it's uploaded tomorrow you guys will be able to see it tomorrow so the rendering should not take too long for it though which is good oh and the one thing I forgot is you could go like this move it forward or move it like this it's like really convenient. Also, you could put on a boom mic if you wanted to. But I had a boom mic, but I can't really use it with this table here that I have. Because it has like a little part of it where it's like thin. And then when I tried to use it before, it kept on falling over. So I couldn't really use it at all, which sucks. But at least I have a stand for it though. Which is a good thing. And... Since I have this brand new mic, and I'm able to have it out of the way when I'm streaming this time, I don't have to worry about being in the way. I could actually do Perler now, and many other stuff, without this being in my way. That's the plus side. And I might do some just chatting stream on Twitch. I might just do that too. I've been wanting to. I finally get to now. <laughs> so, hopefully I'll be able to do just chatting streams very soon, besides art streams. And I might do some cooking streams later too, depending on my mood. <laughs> but for now, just art streams, just chatting, and some gaming streams every once in a while. But mostly more of creative streams on Twitch. I've been wanting to do art stuff with her for like longest time. But sometimes for some dumb reason OBS kept on having encoding overload. So I'm gonna have to fix that somehow. Um hopefully I will be able to fix it eventually. But once I do, then I'll be able to stream more of my digital art stuff. Which I'm hoping it will be soon. Very, very soon. So I think I'm going to head kill it here for now. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button below. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys later. Bye guys.